How would you like to design your own robot? I hear what you're saying. Sounds great, but all the math, all the work. And I can't possibly understand all these systems. Well, what if I were to tell you that you can design your very own robot without any of the fuss and muss of systems? I can hear you say that that would be great, and now you can with Kriegbot. With Kriegbot, all you need is some templates and some cards and none of the engineering. It's too easy. First, you gather a couple of friends, divide into teams, and distribute templates randomly between those teams. Then you take some cards and decide where they're going to go. It's easy. All you do is you take the card of a particular shape and you match it up to a shape on your template. It's that easy. Talk about it with your friend. Make choices. It's like a customizable card game you do together before each and every game. And when you're done constructing your very own robot, you're going to get to put it to the test together. So where do we test our new creations that we just created with our friend? Well, on the ultimate testing field, the field of battle. Battle, I hear you say, that sounds boring. A bunch of clunky robots clunking around on a map, slowly pummeling each other. What about all the creativity I put into creating my robot? Where does that come into play? Ah, well, it's not boring because your robot is unique. Sure, there, you could come up with, use the same robot multiple times, but that's likely not going to happen because there's so many cards and so many different spots you can put those cards into on your template. And so, you have these different cards, and when you reveal them, they have different effects on the other robot. But, that sounds complicated. How am I going to know what effect my card has on the other robot? Well, when one of their cards interacts with one of your cards, they can then reveal their card and it says on the card how that reaction interaction occurs. Well, maybe it's not all on the cards. There are a few rules you're going to need to know in order to play Kriegbot. But you're not going to need a whole engineering textbook. You're just going to need a few pages of rules and off you go. I hear what you're saying. Once the cards are revealed and we know the rules, you can just kind of determine what's going to happen. So what's the point in even playing out the rest of your robot's excursion onto the field of battle? Well, Kriegbot uses randomizers in the form of dice in order to change what happens during each interaction between two given bots. Not only that, but Kriegbot borrows the innovative hard dice mechanism from the game Hard Vacuum, in which the six-sided die is actually numbered from zero to five. And the fives, if you roll a five, it explodes and you can roll more dice. So there's no way you can calculate what's going to happen because the dice are random. What more, the numbers you roll double to decide what locations you can even hit with the weapon that you're firing. Because let's face it, most interactions between robots on the battlefield are going to be weapons. Which brings us to the technology of Kriegbot. All of the different technology that the game represents actually has some sort of real-world corollary or feasibility. It is a comfort to you to know that the robot that you could construct in this game could actually exist in this world. So if you like designing robots, but don't have the time, the money, or the inclination to actually go through all the effort to design and create your actual robot, you will love Creebot.